everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be my June favorites. I know it's a little bit late, but as you guys all know, there's been a lot of random stuff going on. So we're getting into it now, finally. My first favorite is going to be a little edible thing. It's the Jake Vitamin Candy in the Raspberry Flavor Edition. Um, this is basically just like a vitamin C infused candy type thing. It kind of just comes in this regular medication looking packaging. <laughs> it says it's sugar free and it has 72 milligrams of vitamin C per portion, so per little bit. I really like these. Raspberry is my favorite flavor of anything ever, so raspberry flavor is really cool, but these do come in other flavors as well. My next favorite is going to be this Touch Gel Spray. It's an antibacterial sprayable hand sanitizer. This is like the violet scent. Everybody in my family hates the smell of it. I don't really care. Uh, this is super, super handy. I've just been using it to disinfect my hands whenever I feel like they're filthy. And it's actually come in really useful because when we were at the park, there was a girl who was rollerblading and she actually fell and she scraped both of her elbows really badly. And I had this in my bag, so I kind of just used it to disinfect the scrapes. So that's pretty cool. This is a really good thing to have on hand in case somebody gets hurt or anything because, you know, disinfecting things is always good. My next favorite is this Garnier Skin Naturals Micellar Cleansing Water. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know how to say this word. It's like driving me crazy. Um, it's for sensitive skin, removes makeup, cleanses, and soothes. No rinsing. I do rinse this because I usually use this to remove my makeup and I feel like after I've removed my makeup with it, my face still kind of has like a film of foundation mixed with this stuff, so I kind of do rinse it a little bit. My only complaint is that this does not remove my mascara and my lipstick, like liquid lipstick especially, but everything else is perfectly fine. It's definitely very gentle and hasn't caused any irritation or anything like that, so I really like this. My next favorite is the Solid Blender Cleanser. This is from the brand Beauty Blender and it's made to clean your beauty blender but also your brushes. I bought this just before I left Shanghai because I thought it would be really convenient to have around for cleaning my brushes and indeed it is a very good buy. I don't regret purchasing this at all. It's one ounce of like a solid soap type thing. You kind of roll this open and inside it has this kind of gummy pink thing which has these like little dots on it and this is really great for cleaning your brushes because it kind of has this like bumpy texture which helps to get between all the bristles of your brushes and just scrub everything out of it. And then right underneath this is the actual cleanser. It's just like a white bar of soap. It kind of has like a slightly, I don't know if it's citrusy scented, but it just smells like a standard cleanser for like windows and stuff. It really just smells like a household cleanser, um, but it's really great. It's been really good for cleaning anything out of my brushes, including uh, cleaning liquid lipstick out of my lip brushes, which is probably the hardest thing to clean, so this is really great. I definitely recommend this. It's perfect for cleaning anything you need. Next up, we have this Coconut Scented The Body Shop Body Butter, which I purchased at the airport in Duty Free in Doha. Um, I haven't used this a lot. Well, I mean, okay, that's <laughs> some. I've used this quite some. Um, I gotta say that I like the texture of the Mango Body Butter more. If you guys remember, sometime around Christmas, I think, I got a Mango Body Shop Body Butter from my friend Nina Vey, and I used that a lot, and I really loved that as well. And I have to say that one had a nicer, creamier texture. This one is a little bit more chunky, a little bit more buttery, but I really love the smell of it. Coconut is one of my favorite scents, so raspberry is a favorite flavor, and coconut is a favorite scent. Uh, but I will probably use this more during the winter because for summer body butters are just a little bit too thick and heavy and they kind of just make you feel hot and sweaty and sticky. So 
I will probably go through this a lot quicker during the winter. Next up is this Kaudali Grape and Sage Scented Instant Foaming Cleanser. Basically, as soon as you click this pump, it makes a foam. I'm not going to do it now because I don't have anything to like wipe it away with. Uh, I got this again right before I left Shanghai. Um, I figured it would be a nice facial cleanser to have with me since it's like in this little bottle and I have got to say this is probably one of my favorite facial cleansers that I have ever ever bought. It's very very gentle. It's perfect for anyone with sensitive skin. I can literally put this right next to my eye and even get it into my eye and it doesn't hurt or sting at all. All. This, like, I, I have washed my face with tap water that has burned more than this does. So, this is the gentlest possible thing you could ever use, especially if you have sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. It says it's against animal testing, but I did buy this in China, and China doesn't sell products that are not tested on something, but I read on Kaudali's website that they actually use human volunteers, so they like get volunteers to come in and try their products out, so maybe that is why it says it's against animal testing, because instead of testing on animals, they test on people, and therefore they probably are allowed to sell in China because they are tested on something. Definitely, like this I have used once or twice a day every day since I bought it, so I've had it for about a month now, and it's absolutely amazing. I wouldn't say that I could survive just with this because I do like to use an exfoliating wash as well, but this just really leaves your skin feeling a little bit smoother, a little bit more moisturized, and just really clean and healthy and smooth and perfect. It's so, so simple and yet so good. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. You can buy the mini size of it. I promise you will not be disappointed. I mean, I can't promise that, but I have got to say I really, really love this. So give it a go. See if you like it. Next up, we have the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I'm still trying to see if my camera will autofocus, but I don't trust it, so I'm trying not to bring them up too close to the camera. This is the 28 gram or 0.95 ounce uh, jar of it. I think this is the larger size. I got two samples of this from the Kiehl's shop in Duty Free at the Doha airport because I really wanted to buy an eye cream and I saw this and I thought it was nice but I wasn't sure about buying it because I hadn't really tried it on my eyes for that long so they gave me two tiny little uh, tester things and each of the testers were I think 1.5 milliliters which is 0.05 ounces, I think, and I used those once or twice a day every day for almost two weeks, and it basically one little sample of it lasted me for almost two weeks. So this, if you do the math, is probably going to last about um, 40 weeks. Yeah, I think it's going to last probably about 40 weeks, but realistically it will probably last up to a year or even more because, you know, I'll forget to use it sometimes or I won't use it twice a day. Sometimes I'll just use it once a day. But yeah, this is definitely really nice. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It feels really good and I love applying it before I go to bed at night. It's just been really helping brighten my eye area and moisturize and kind of get rid of some of the damage that comes with constantly applying makeup to your eye area and then like scrubbing it away. Uh, this is why I'm using an eye cream, not because I'm old, but because I would rather prevent aging than have to reverse it later. So <laughs> it's always a good idea to take care of your skin from when you are very young so that you don't have problems with it later. If you have a Kiehl's shop near you, or I think they have Kiehl's in Sephora, so if you have a Sephora shop, go ahead and ask them if they have samples for this eye cream. I really like it, you might not, so, you know, just get a sample and try it out and see for yourself. Next up is a hair product, and that is the Manic Panic Bad Boy Blue Hair Dye. This is what I dyed my hair with. I'm sure you guys noticed it's a little bit more blue than it was in my last video. I got it dyed earlier this week, um, and it's already the second time I've used it this summer. I dyed my hair right before 
before I left Shanghai, and then I dyed it again this week because this does fade pretty quickly, but it's vegan and cruelty-free and very, very gentle, so this will not damage your hair whatsoever. Um, therefore, it's totally okay to, like, have to redo the color. It's expensive, but it's not damaging, so I prefer that. As much as I love changing the color of my hair, I don't love when it gets just dry and disgusting, so it's always great to use as gentle of a hair dye as you can find, and these are definitely amazing. Bad Boy Blue is probably my favorite hair color ever. Just blue is my favorite hair color, especially for the summer, but also just in general. Uh, I think my next significant hair color change will probably be in February because this year I really wanted to do my hair in pink for February for like Valentine's Day, but I didn't have time or money to get pink hair dye, so I couldn't do that, but I will try to do it um, next year. My next favorites are two of the Lime Crime Velveteens that I reviewed in one of my recent videos. These are Teacup and Alien. Teacup is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's this really beautiful periwinkle blue. Um, as I said in my video, I feel like Flamingo is a really beautiful color, but it's just pretty standard. It's just a hot pink. It's not something so special. So these two definitely made the cut to be in my favorites because they're very, very original and beautiful colors. And the reason why Xenon, the gold shade, is not in here as a favorite is because the texture of it is and the consistency is just a little bit difficult to work with and I feel like it's not as wearable or as reliable as these two. We are now on to our last two favorites, which are both from the brand Too Faced and were in my mini haul video. Uh, these are the Sweet Peach Palette and the Candlelight Glow Highlighter in Warm Glow. These are probably more of like a June and July favorites because I bought them pretty late into June. I bought them like in the last week of June. So they'll probably be favorites for July as well because I'm going to continue wearing these all through summer especially. Uh, particularly the Sweet Peach palette is an amazing palette, especially for the summer. The Candlelight Glow highlighter will probably be a year-round favorite that I will be using quite a lot. There is one last favorite that I forgot to mention because it's not a physical item, uh, and this last favorite is going to be my favorite song of the month. Technically, this has been my favorite song for like the past... what is it, like eight months because I've been stuck on this song since I first heard it in October last year and I absolutely love it. It's a pretty intense one. It's Hospital for Souls by Bring Me the Horizon. I will leave the link to the song down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, if, if you're not into like metal type stuff, it might not be your style, but it's one of my favorite songs by now. I absolutely adore it. And I have been begging the band to do a cover of it because I would love to perform this song. So we'll see. Hopefully we get to put that on a stage sometime because it's so good. That was it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you want to keep up with my videos and what's going on in my life. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Next up is this <coughs> throat.